Well, in the early videos, I made a little boo-boo. I forgot to talk about Kevin McMaster getting a Path of Totality and Will Power Fashion. Both of them went to him. And uh, Harry Poulton got Just For Me and You. Just For Me and You and Harness AM. Both went to uh, Harry Poulton. So my apologies about that but they are in the burn now the reason i noticed is because we had a ton of additions to jason mcginnis's burn it just doubled overnight first we'll start with jason's with ale sun ale sun's back now she really filled up and filled out exactly what we wanted to see i will say it right now uh mark adams at winterwood and albert adams do a fantastic job these horses come back and they looked great you're turning your horses out that's how they should come back and look uh, Ail Sun looks good. Our Vicka was second in 56 the other night. Looked really good, didn't she? A few little shoeing adjustments with her. Took her back over to Mohawk. Found a good class for her. Our Vicka sprung forward. Cabell Hanover, I'm going to go drive him in about 40 minutes right here at Mohawk. Um, he looked good last week. We snuck him over and schooled him. Make sure he was tight. So Cabell Hanover will be hopefully ready to go tonight. Compass Rose DC. James said, my God almighty, she got huge. So Compass Rose DC grew up, which I'm very, very excited about. I'll play it alone as back training. He's probably ready to go a mile and 15 or so uh, very, very soon. Overdue Mission, another filly, looked good and come back looking great. Johan, uh, Jason trained him the other day. He looked good. He's been ready to go. Or he's probably ready for two more galloping sessions, and then we're going to take him up to uh, take him up and get that leg looked at again. But everything looks great so far. Optically, anyway, everything looks great. Rose Run Valiant is back now. Jason said he looks good. Totally tacked her. Uh, my apologies. I didn't send a message out after he raced. I said he raced poorly. We were going to find out why. And then I left you all hanging. He bled. He bled, which is not that shocking. Look at the chart line. I shouldn't have to tell you that. I think we had a, a pretty good idea what had happened. Uh, this isn't the first time he bled a little bit once before, but he bled quite a bit the other night. So we're going to go ahead and put him on Lazex. His next start will be a week from Saturday uh, at... Flamborough or shortly thereafter in between at Western Fair Raceway on Lazex, his next start. Uh, Stonebridge Simba is on his way back in here in another week or so. He'll be coming back. He's going to Jason's Burn. Spend that money's back. And James said her and Compass Rose DC look like all they did was eat the whole time they're out. They're huge. They got round. They got tall. They look very, very good. Can't wait to see what Spend That Money's going to do this year. Susie K looks great. Jason's training her. Said she's running in a little bit in the turns. We're going to bring her over here and train her maybe in 215. You know what? No, no. We're going to train her in 210. We're going to train her with... With... Uh, gold. No, he's gonna go more. There's a horse I want to go in 210 with here. Anteros. I'm gonna train Anteros with um, Susie K this week. Sometimes things happen, come back. He grew up. Sebastian Yu, he's a little strong in the face still for Jason. I said, you know what, just gallop him also until he's fast enough to go a mile. There's Oso Piner. Just come off the track. So that means that's race four out there. Oso Pine looks sharp. Get his ears up. Sebastian, you okay? Rose Run Versatile trained great the other day. No hobbles on her. I didn't think she'd need them. I doubt she will this year. She looked good training the other day. Now, she only went in 30 or something, but she looked, looked very comfortable without the hobbles. And West 52nd, that, that trip the other night probably do him some good. He'll come back stronger and better for it. Can't wait to see. The first night he draws in with a bet with a good field that he has a shot with. I think he's going to go a big, big mile this cold. Really excited to see what he can do. Be back in a minute. We're going to talk about the babies and uh, I guess a lot of the two-year-olds coming three you've already heard from, but I'm going to give you a run through a real quick update where they're at when they're coming back. You guys know mostly. I just want to make sure you know again this week. Be back in just a minute. <laughs> 